what does part D say? It says determine which figure in the sequence has 210 dots. Hmm. What a task. We want to use up the space, so we already did this, 66. It's rough work, but we have only this amount of space, so I'll get rid of it. I don't think we're going to need to go back to that. Alright. Which figure in the sequence has 210 dots? Let's look at this. Throughout, you have half. So, you have half. Then, you have a multiply by now in figure 1 is 1 figure 2 2 figure 3 3 figure 11 11 figure well we don't know which figure it is we could call it figure n but then n is here already let's not mix them up let's use a different letter figure x all right so in figure x you have x so figure 1, 1, figure 2, 2, figure 3, 3, figure 11, 11, figure x, x. Multiply by. Multiply by. You have an open bracket in each case. So you have open brackets. Then you have these numbers again. In figure 1, it's 1. Figure 2, notice. Figure 1, you have 1. Figure 2, 2. Figure 3, 3 figure 11 11 so in figure x you should have x so it's x plus you have one throughout one 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 so it's one then you have close bracket throughout you close bracket close bracket all right no that should come up to 210 dots Hmm. So, what's happening here now? You have half by x by x plus one equal to ten. Mm hmm. No. When you do this, you have multiply. Suppose you multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the half. <coughs> multiply both sides by 2. You know, times 2 and times 2. You're going to have half by 2 is 1. So it's 1x times, don't really need to write back the multiplication sign here, times x plus 1 equals 210 by 2 two zero zero two and two 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 four fourteen and twenty now suppose you multiply x by x you have x squared plus x by one you have x equal four twenty now you can see that it is taking the form of a quadratic equation. So you have x squared plus x minus 420 equals 0. Take a few seconds to look carefully at what was done and try it again yourself and then we continue. So make sure you understand exactly what was done here. All right. Now we're going to solve this equation. We could use a formula. We could use a quadratic formula. In using the formula, which is 
on your um, formula sheet we know that this takes the form ax square plus bx plus c equals zero now what is a what is b and what is c let's rewrite this x square it means one x square plus one x x by itself is one x plus when you say minus 420 the same as plus negative 420 equals zero so what we see here is that a is one b is one c is negative 420 all right so formula x equal negative b b is one so negative so remember a is one b is one c is negative 420 x equal negative b which is negative one plus or minus the square root of b square so b is one so it's one square b square is one square plus one of the square root of b square minus four times a which is one times c which is negative 420 all over 2 times a which is 1 so x equal negative 1 plus r minus the square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 by 420 gives you 1680 1680 all over two ones two I have to squeeze for space there continue over here which is negative 1 x is negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1680 remember this is 1 minus negative 1680 it's 1 minus negative 1680 it was this negative is this one let me fix this up fix up this part properly so remember here this negative this minus is this then you have a 4 by 1 by negative 420 and that gives you a negative 1680 so it's 1 minus negative 1680 which is 1 plus 1680 so it will be 1681 all over 2 what's the square root of 1681? it's 41 so x equals negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1681 is 41 all over 2 continue here negative 1 so x equal if you have negative 1 minus 41 over 2 and then x equals negative 1 plus 41 divided by 2 you notice this one is going to give you a negative 42 over 2 this one gives you a negative 42 over 2 but that's a negative 21 you don't have negative when it comes to working these pattern out so it wouldn't be this here this one says x equals you have negative 1 plus 41 which will be 
tell me. Negative 1 plus 41? 40, 40. Well, you would be right if you said 40. So it's 40 divided by 2. So x in this case is 20. Right. Now remember what you called x was the number of the figure that has 210 dots. What this is showing is that figure 20 would have 210 dots. Alright? So review it, make sure you understand what happened, and we'll see you in the next part.